Hello again, now we are in the village. And let me first right away show you one of the... Well, bullshit things this game does. Yes, apparently the village is... Uh, being protected by the swamp thing and if you simply walk into the wrong spot of ground it'll come up and punch you to death. Oh, come on now, this is getting ridiculous. Okay... Yeah, that thing will... Uh, I think that the cauldron will also be an instant kill if it hits. And for some reason these locals will flash uh, into skeleton as they die, instead of just falling to bones right away. Now let's go this way instead. And also as another... Um, how would I put it? Well, downright unfair thing. This uh, level does not have a way to replenish your water. How about that? So I'll probably uh, lose one life just on account of running out of water. Anyway, uh, now we are, I guess we are actually on the gates of the village and for some reason there's giant bouncing skulls. Now if I could manage to position myself properly to pick up this key. Okay, I don't want to lose a life there. So, let's try this again, boys and girls. Mm -hmm. We'll be going in there soon enough, because, well, yeah, that is precisely the place where we need the key. You can pick it up. Just. <sighs> well, I don't usually have this much much trouble getting the key. Not to mention, I usually don't get that much badly mauled by the skulls. Where do those skulls come from anyway, King Kong? Oh great! Now that I was actually uh, fairly far away from the key, I managed to pick it up and for some reason my knife goes right through that guy now. What the hell game? Okay, let's see if I can maybe run to the door. Ah oh, yes I can. And now I could actually show the machete in a place where it's actually completely safe to do so. Yeah, I saw you there with the top of your skull peeking from the ground. And let's see how we so oh, I guess we can... Oh, are we supposed to go with it here yet? I forget. Um. Okay, now uh, somewhat counterintuitively, uh, to use the key, you have to uh, unequip your weapon and punch the door. Okay. Oh yeah. Here we get 
medicine. And that's all we came there for. Okay, at this point I might as well get killed, so the water will replenish, but... Well, I'm not going to go out of my way to try and get myself killed. Okay, and here we have another weapon. Okay. The sling. Now, depending on how... well, you hold the fire button down and it'll he'll keep swinging it, and depending on how long, many times you let him swing it, the sling uh, bullet will go on a different trajectories. And this box here is... Hmm. Matches. And like other things, that also is... Uh, or other ranged weapons, that also is an instant kill. Now we use matches on whatever that thing was, and it'll burst out of existence. Now, we could pick up the orb, but doing so will kind of screw you up later in the game, so we'll just leave it there. But you do have to remove whatever that thing was on it. And well, this guy seems to be uh, rather agitated, and there's a guy lying down next to him, so... Well, this is fairly logical. We give him the medicine. And he will in turn give another key. And looks like I'm about to drop dead from dehydration. Yep, there he, there he goes. Oh yeah, and dying will also remove uh, enemies on the screen. Now let's get out of here. Oh, yeah, sometimes those puffs of smoke summon enemies. Don't ask me why or how. We are <coughs> okay, let's get out of here, and now we go right from here. Oh yeah, I'm not sure if I mentioned this previously, but the game areas loop around, so if we go left from the start long enough, we would end up back here. Okay, now, yeah. And also a bit of an odd puzzle, you uh, use the key or give the key to the guards and the gate will open up. And that's the end of this level. Now I did have to change uh, uh, a version of the game to a tape version. Because I remember that none of the disc versions I found have the ending working properly. But from the tape version it also means that um, mm -mm, the loading times are quite a bit longer. But luckily the emulator has this. So that'll make them much more tolerable. Yeah. Next up will be the temple. Whoa. And look, it's a monkey! Oh, I guess that would rather be an ape. 